Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Javier Rivera, Hubmaster. A few weeks ago, I finally got a hold of this beautiful Apple III. So I'm planning to clean it up, check it, see how it works, if it works at all, and make sure that everything is working nice and dandy. So please join me on my adventure with this new Apple III. start a little bit farther because I forgot to press record when I was cleaning the keycaps. Apologies for that. Here I removed already the plastic and I'm cleaning with a brush and some alcohol the switches. After that I take the keys that I put in a vase and I clean them with water and soap and I proceed to put it back in place. make sure that I really clean up very well on all the sides every one of the key. Now I'm ready to remove the plastic so I can retrofit it and this is a very heavy machine so we gotta be very careful when removing things and moving around. Before I retrovide, I gotta remove the labels by pushing them from the back. I do these for two reasons. One, because they can be affected by the peroxide, and two, because I wanna see the original color of the plastics that it's on the back, and that's always a good place to look for it. I wasn't aware that these labels were a little bit thin. I'm not used to push these ones, and I actually made a bump to the number three. The good thing is that I am replacing these labels so I, I have no problem with it. Well what a bummer. Anyway here's where you can see the difference between the color so you can retro it. I'll spare you a lot of the steps of retro ride. If you follow my channel, you have seen me doing this tens of times. So just watching it after the nice retro ride that I was very, very careful with. And it came out with a beautiful original color now. Now I'm gonna proceed to check physically all the components and maybe I'm going to clean up a little bit all the dust that has accumulated in the motherboard. Upon checking it I realized that the video connector was crooked up and I proceeded to move it down, you know, bend it down back again and also sanding it a little bit to clean it up. One of the preventive things that I thought about doing was to remove the Rifa capacitor. They're never good, they always blew up, so I think, you know, I'm just gonna remove it before it makes a mess over here. Bye bye, capacitor. Just like my car, I like my computers to be shiny and beautiful, so I'm buffing the back panel to be beautiful and shiny.
here comes a big test I made a test disk and hopefully it will work so here we go it works perfect it looks so good with my monitor 100 I'm very happy so far Well, I'm paying the consequences by not knowing these platforms. So this power supply has two Rifa capacitors instead of one, like the Apple II. So I'm gonna have to remove that stinker. And there it is, the stinky culprit. That's it. I don't want this power supply anymore. This is smelling too much and I don't want to have it around. So you know what? Bye-bye. But I had a plan, so let's welcome the nice Reactive Micro Universal Power Supply. Let's do this. I had a lot of trouble with this cable connection, so I'm a visual person and I couldn't really make uh, what goes where. So finally I did a schematic and I put it on the website so you can use it and hopefully it will be useful for you. This computer, it's a beautiful machine. So far I like it a lot. Um, hopefully I won't have any more surprises. Because I like to have my computers just like new. I went ahead and uh, ordered rubber feet replacements. These rubber feet are the exact replacements, just new versions of the original ones. So they look and they fit perfectly. Finally, I got my badges on the mail. The top one is original, the bottom is replacement. Uh, you don't see it very well in the video, but they look really fantastic. And my original badge was faded, so it's great. Finally, I have a spanking brand new looking Apple III, completely working with new parts and just looking and working perfectly. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. 
please leave your comments, support me on Patreon, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.